Hey, welcome back to uh, Coding Jungle with Terry Caliendo of Dedicated Managers. I have no idea what that means, but uh, it was something different to say. So anyway, um, I wanted to talk about um, the a little bit more in depth of the code that it took to get Algolia uh, to work with my program. Remember in the last video, I had shown that um, now the, um, the, I have the capability of searching um, quite extensively um, without much work, I, I can not only show, you know, most relevant for, you know, recent searches, I don't know what this is showing here, but uh, I still need to figure that out. But uh, I have, you know, if we look here, I've got four clients, that's why it's, it's only showing four, because they're the most relevant, there's only four of them. But again, I can, sh I showed in the last video that I can be very poor with my spelling. If I was looking for client three, this is the last name, first name, middle name. So if I was looking for client three, um, it not only finds it right away, but even if I spell it wrong, um, and there's enough characters, I think it takes four characters to get a hit on, on, a, on a wrong spelling, um, I still get it. And um, so it's pretty intelligent that I can spell things wrong. It's like a Google search. It's absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I talked about that in the last video, and I wanted to show about how I integrated View uh, or um, Algolia with um, with View and Beautify, which um, is pretty cool. How I ended up figuring it out. So here's their documentation, and uh, what it takes is is you have to import into your project. Um, uh, that's the typical app stuff. You have to import uh, Instant Search to get the um, this component. Remember, this is Algolia's View component called Instant Search. So you have to import that into your project. You tell your project to use it, and that's it. You're, you're up and running, um, I think. Go and read the documentation if that's not right. Um, here's the, uh, the URL up there. <laughs> Just search for um, View or Algolia View Instant Search. And so this is all it takes. You just throw this into your template, and suddenly you've got this minimal-looking search right here. So it's not pretty, but you can type things in, and you get results. Um, that's that's what this right here gets you. And all you need to do is put in your app ID, um, your, uh, your, your uh, public key, and um, the index name. And the index is basically the list of things that you're searching for. In my um, database, uh, the index is, is going to be all pretty much all the information right now is the first name, middle name, last name, and street address. That's what I'm uh, uh, searching on right now. So that's how you build your index. Um, so you just tell it what, what you want to search, you, you link it up with your credentials, you tell it where to search, and then it pretty much does the rest for you. Now, this, um, if you look down here, this is very minimal. I have a much nicer look right here. You can see I've got, um, you know, if I show multiple results, um, you know, I've got, you know, four things coming up and, and they look pretty good. I've got my own icons in there. So I've definitely styled up um, what they had there, and it took me a while to figure out how to do it, as um, I couldn't just throw in um, Viewtify, I couldn't throw in its, its search. So this, this pretty looking line with this, this thing here, the um, magnifying glass, you know, that's Viewtify, and the, the container that goes in and out, you know, that does that animation to come in and out, is Beautify. Also, so are the, the icons are all done in Beautify. So I, I needed to figure out how to integrate the two. And um, it ended up being difficult because this search box, um, you know, needs to be a part of this, this template here, the, the, the parent. And, um, you know, my code was, was a little more difficult to figure that out. So let me just kind of show that. I think that's the best way is to just get into the code. So Here's my code. I created this um, this component search box, which is, if we look at my app, this is the main uh, app template that gets loaded. And you can see I've got a toolbar here, which shows the dashboard icon, um, and then the title, foster kinship client database. And then here is my search box that I'm loading as a component. And you can figure out, you know, that's part of this down here and look components as part of this view. You can, you can learn about how to do that in all kinds of places. Um, so, so I load that component and you can see, remember dashboard, foster kinship database, search box, sign in or sign out. And so that's what we have here is the uh, dashboard uh, logo, the foster kinship client database, the search, and then the sign or sign in or sign, sign in or sign out. So that's my toolbar there. 
Um, so that's the code. It, the search box is loaded as a component, so we'll go into that component and look at that component. And so here you can start to see the AIS index. Um, that's the outermost level component, and that is, um, if we go back to the Algolia documentation, you know, that's this, AIS index. So um, that's their index right here where I load, you know, I, oops, course, drag and drop. Um, I, you know, I load my component information here. Um, that's my app and my key, my public key that anybody can look at um, to, to uh, query the database. And then I'm querying um, my index primary kinship caregiver, which is something I told Algolia about. Uh, uh, and I'll talk about that, the back end set up in another video. Anyway, so now we're mixing. Um, AIS is going to be, that is the um, Algolia instant search component stuff. And then I've also got V dash stuff, which is Beautify. Um, so you can see the two are intermingling quite nicely. It's pretty cool. Um, so here's where I struggled. I wanted to use the, um, the search of Beautify. So you can see my search is this is my text field for the search um, and it's using vmodel search query that's the the um, variable that i'm using it is outside of the ais results the 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 um the algolia code so the way they had their code the search box needed to be inside um, and also i wanted to decide you know how to hide or control the search box with beautify um, so I ended up pulling that out and what I had to do to get that to work, and this took me a long time because it's, it's, it's documented. Um, if you go to the, let's see, let's look at the components and we want AIS search index. I'll open this in a new tab. Um, this is the AIS index. It's, you know, that's what you call as your outermost component. Um, but you can actually send in the query, the search query to it um, as part of your, um, you know, parameters or props that you send in. And so that's what I end up doing is in my um, AIS index, I send in the query. I tie the query to my search query variable, which is part of my V model as part of my text field. Remember the V dash is beautify. So that's my beautify text field and I'm tying it to the, the AIS search through the variable search query. Um, and and um, this is how you tie a, you know, the, the colon is how you tie a, a one variable to a property that you're sending in. So this is the variable that I'm sending in to that query. And so AIS results is now receiving that query and doing the query. So I am not using if we go back to their documentation in the template, I am not using their search box, um, which is here. Um, I am using my own search and um, passing in the, um, the query as part of, of, of the outermost component. And then it goes and gets the results and displays the results. And um, so here's the, the results that um, Algolia Instant Search gets. And, um, it um, you know sends it back as part of this template, so I can I can get the search result within here. I can't get the query and I can't pass it back up. That's why it was easy for me to pass it down from the top, um, and why it was hard for me to put the text field inside here because once you're in here, um, I couldn't figure out how to tie the um, text field variable search query back to the, you know, the outermost um, component. Maybe if I did put it in there and still, maybe I could just put this in there, but when I was testing it, things weren't working. Um, so I ended up pulling it out and I, you know, again, I wanted to use that beautify look. Um, so, uh, but anyway, once you're in the results, then you can create this template, uh, um, you know, um, it's like a dummy uh, container. It's, it doesn't actually display anything, but it gives you access to something. And this is documented that you can get the slot scope results. So this is the results that I'm gonna loop through for the search. 
So the query comes in as whatever the person is typing, and then it gets passed through as the result, or the results that show up get passed through. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, show those results. And uh, if I call, recall correctly, um, the AIS search results, you don't even have to do the loop. It does the for loop for you. So it's, it's looping over all the different results and passing in the result for the individual result uh, uh, that's part of the, you know, the, bunch, the, the four or five that it found. Um, so that is, you know, if I go back to my, my, um, my interface here, so it, it's finding all four of these things and then it's, it's looping through each of them for me and then passing results. So when we look at the code, we're looking at the code for this one guy right here, which then the outer um, you know, AIS search result is gonna loop over and that's how we get the repetition. So this right here is that individual component that I was looking at. So here's how I link. You know, I link to um, the result.object ID. That's part of my linking system. So when I click on something, that's creating this with the ID. That's how I load views. Um, so that's I, I, I've got access to that. Remember, this is I'm now integrating um, Viewify with um, Algolia. So um, I'm using my Viewify components, and I'm passing in that route that I need to link to. This is that person icon that shows up right here. And then um, my content is the next thing that I show. And so um, I'm showing last name, um, first name, middle name as one tile line. And that's my big line right here up at the top, last name, comma, first name, middle name. And then I talked about this. This is the street address, and it's redundant just for, um, for placeholding right now. So these are the next couple of lines using um, Beautify. I show the... Um, the street address from results. So I tie the result, and this is another component AI um, Algolia has that lets you show a result and highlights the um, the portion that is part of the search. So that's as I type the D R I V E, it's highlighting the um, you know the the search part of it. So Algolia does that that highlighting for me, saves me that work. Um, and I do that styling um, actually down here as the it comes through as an uh, um, an em um, an emphasis and so I just style that with the yellow I tell it the background should be a color of yellow um, so the where are we we're here we're loading the address now ultimately again I won't show the address twice this will show the city state and zip kind of the same way that that um, first name middle name last name is shown here. And I'm always wrapping everything in this highlight so that whatever's searched for is highlighted. So if I'm searching for the last name, um, three, um, you know, that's what's getting highlighted. I'm passing it through. So I'm using, you know, again, both functions to, uh, or both um, um, frameworks together, which is just, I mean, it's just awesome. So, and then if there's no results, I have an ugly, I haven't formatted this very well yet, but if there's no results, I just say, hey, there's no results found for the, um, for the query, and um, this is just boilerplate template that you can use. Um, and actually, I just realized, hey, there's props.query. Um, that is probably available for to be used here, so I could probably throw this within there and use that. But anyway, that's not what I'm doing, um, and that was probably very confusing. Uh, but anyway, so if there's no search results, if it's just too far off that it can't get anything, you can actually tell it, hey, Here's what I want you to show if there are no results. And so I can make this look prettier um, in, in coming forward. So, um, so uh, you know, that's pretty much the operation, and that's how easy it was. I mean, it took me hours to figure out how to get it to work. But once I figured out how to get it to work, the amount of code uh, is actually very minimal. I mean, it's just pretty much plug and play. This is really all I had to do to get that amazing search functionality was... Um, you know, um, tie my two things together and, and tell, um, um, you know, um, Algolia the, the parameters and then just style it up and it does all the work in the background for me. Um, and then, you know, the rest is just tweaking the results once, once I figure out, um, you know, once I get full database information and see how the results are, are coming in. So pretty awesome stuff. Um, again, Algolia is the, the search 
I'm sorry, this is Algolia here. Um, take care. Have a great day. If you have any questions, comments, uh, please leave them below or contact me um, at dedicatedmanagers.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.